I deduce that the forces which kept the planets in their orbits must be reciprocally as the squares of their distances from the centers about which they revolve, and thereby compared the force requisite to keep the moon in their orb with the force of gravity at the surface of the earth, and found them to answer pretty near. Larger field. Nun, Herren der Garfen, warten! Aufgang des Nazi-Regimes in Kraftgerste! He wanted to make the difference for the benefit of society. And the Nazis took that force. So I've decided to move to America, and I shall never return back to Germany, not even after the war. I will miss my wife too. It's a shame she passed away. It is time to start a new life, a better life. I have a few questions for you today, sir. Uh, what role does the equivalence of inertial uh, role? So, what role does the equivalence of inertial and gravitational properties of mass play in the development of general relativity? Thank you for asking, because equivalence plays a crucial role in development of gravitational relativity. So, how does gravity correspond to the bending of the space-time fabric? It's actually quite simple to explain. You see, gravity is the negative slope of the space-time fabric. What is the Schwarzschild radius? <coughs> what? Schwarzschild radius. It's the radius of a celestial object when gravitational forces require an escape. They require a, an escape velocity that's greater than the speed of light, resulting in a black hole. What are black holes and are they real? Um, resulting from a star dying, a black hole is a, a place where gravity is so much that it even pulls in light, pulls in anything that, it can, that has mass. How does gravity bend light, and what is gravitational lensing? <laughs> well, light is made up of photons, and photons have mass, and gravity affects anything that has mass. 
So light can be affected by gravity to some small degree. Gravitational lensing is essentially when a bright distant object is shining and the light from the object is bent or distorted by a massive object such as a planet. What are wormholes and are they real? A wormhole is a pathway from one place or time to another distant place. I do not know if they're real or not. It hasn't been proven by science yet. What is called the general theory of relativity and not the general hypothesis of relativity? Uh, it's, uh, it's why, not what. Get it right next time. Well, that's a good question. A, th a theory is when someone makes an educated guess based on previous tests. And a hypothesis is when they make a guess from their opinion or their previous knowledge. Oh.